Welcome to Evening Prayers for Monday the 8th of May. Our theme for this evening continues on the, the request that we made last night in our prayers. Lead me. Let us pray. O oh God, you are our rock and our fortress. For the sake of your name, lead and guide us. Jesus, our way, our truth and our life, for the sake of your name, lead and guide us. Spirit of God, our inspiration and our comforter, lead and guide us as we pray. Remove the obstacles, clear the floor, your God is coming to dance with creation, so come and take part. Merge with the music of holy love. Let your dance be a prayer and your prayer move you on. Pray with the way you move and hold your life. That your steps are in time. Pray with the way you feel and laugh and breathe. That you tread well and true. Pray with the way you love and care and cry that your heart listens to God's tune. Pray as you dance, pray as you live, and let God lead you, clearing the floor as you go. Amen. A reading for this evening's prayers comes from the book of Exodus. Moses has led the Israelites away from Egypt and slavery. Now comes the story and the promise of God leading them through the wilderness. So our reading, Exodus chapter 13, verses 17 to 22. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road towards the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt ready for battle. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, because Joseph had made the Israelites swear an oath. He had said, God will surely come to your aid and then you must carry my bones up with you from this place. After leaving Succoth, they camped at Etham on the edge of the desert. By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so that they could travel by day or night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. God led the Israelites, taking them to places of safety when the fight ahead got too much. And God was always at their front, day and night, their guide and the one showing them the way. We pray. God of truth, I am surrounded by many siren voices trying to lead me in different ways, but only you speak with authority. Teach me to listen to your voice, Lord. Do not let me harden my heart. Oftentimes, even when deep down I know that you are right, it's easier to doubt and challenge what you ask and to head off in my own direction. Teach me to listen to your voice, Lord. Do not let me harden my heart. Speak your healing words that pluck from me the anguish of fear and loneliness and draw me back into union with you. Teach me to listen to your voice, Lord. Do not let me harden my heart. May your love blossom within me. Surprise me with the new life your word brings. Teach me to listen to your voice, Lord. Do not let me harden my heart. Amen. 
Our next prayer is the song Lead Me, performed by the Christian group Delirious. by your spirit to examine ourselves. Give us courage to be honest. But we've not grasped the reality of your power within us. Therefore, we've not realised our potential. We've been afraid of those who express different views. Too often we've lacked confidence in our own. We're too willing to give space to others and do not concentrate on our own growth and development. We like quick fixes to problems and are reluctant to leave the issues in your keeping. Loving God, forgive us. Christ, forgive us. The words of God spoken directly to us. We are forgiven. So now you know the confidence that God has in you. Go into the world nourished by this love and be strong until the harvest comes. Amen. A sending out prayer. Lord, lead us and help us to follow you. Lord, lead us and help us to keep our eyes on you. Lord, be at the centre of our lives, our thinking and our actions. Make us useful in your service and show us how we can live so that our lives point towards Jesus. 
Amen.